What is going on guys welcome back in this little tutorial today we're going to learn how to generate universally unique identifiers in Python and the reason we might want to do that is because oftentimes we have data sets with billions of entries for example and we want to add new data to those data sets so for example we might have billions of entries already we then might want to add 10,000 new entries and those new entries need unique identifiers. And let's say the unique identifier doesn't have meaning, so it's not something like a social security number, it's actually just a generated value that has to be unique or should be unique. Now, let's say also we don't know what unique identifiers are used in the big data set already. So let's say uh, maybe it changes, maybe it's random, we don't really know. We want to generate unique identifiers where we have an almost 0% chance of collision, where we have an almost 100% chance that when we merge the data, there will be no conflict, no collision. We can just merge the data and we still have unique identifiers everywhere. Now, what we're going to learn about today will not guarantee this. We will not have 100% certainty, but the chances of collision are close to zero, especially when we don't get to extremely huge data sizes, um, data set sizes. But this is what we're going to learn about today, how to generate universally unique identifiers in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so this topic is quite fundamental and basic, which is why we're going to use a simple example to illustrate how it works and why it might be useful. And for that, we're going to use an external Python module called pandas in order to work with some data, merge the data, find some conflicts, and then resolve them with a universally unique identifier. However, for the actual UUID, so for the actual universally unique identifier, we don't need any external modules. This is part of the core Python functionality. So you don't have to install pandas if you don't want to follow along with the example. You can also use lists or you can just generate numbers uh, or generate identifiers and see if you have some conflicts but we're going to use pandas here for the example. So if you want to follow along, you just open up a command line and you type pip install pandas and this then installs pandas and you can then import it in your code by saying import pandas as pd, which is the usual alias that we use. In addition to that, we're also going to import UUID, which is part of the core Python stack, as I already mentioned. And uh, then we can start with a very simple example. So here I have prepared a CSV file. We have just some ID and some value and some value two. Now I messed up something, uh, value and value two. And we just have some random stuff here, nothing too complicated, nothing too fancy, just the IDs one, four and 12. And now uh, what we're also going to do is we're gonna say uh, that uh, we want to have some new data, PD data frame. It's gonna be based uh, off, an dictionary, off a dictionary here. Uh, so we're going to have um, the IDs and we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have the value and the value is going to be, I don't know, 40, 20, 10, 20, 30. Uh, I need one more, I think 30. And then value two is going to be one, 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 zero, zero, one or something like that. And this is now our data that we want to merge with the existing data. So this is a very trivial example, very simple example. Um, now what we're also going to do is we're going to say data set index is going to be the ID. So data is going to be equal to data set index ID. Um, and then we can print that and you can see what this looks like here. So in this case, we have now a data frame where we have the ID as the identifier, obviously. So is the index and then we have value one, value two, or just value and value two. Um, and now we want to take that and merge it with the existing data that we have. So what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, existing, for example, is equal to PD dot read CSV. And we're going to read the existing data dot CSV file here. And we're going to say existing equals existing dot set index ID. And we can print that here as well without problems. And you can see we also have ID here now as an identifier as the index and then we have value value two. So this works and now what we want to do is want to merge in this case, obviously, since I did it artificially, we have conflicting IDs. So if I go ahead uh, and I say combined equals PD concat, so concatenate essentially the existing data with the new data. Um, first of all, if I do it like that, nothing happens, nothing bad happens, no, no problem uh, occurs. So this should actually work. But you can see now we have ID 1412 and then we have 1234. So we have two times four. It's no longer unique. And if I go ahead and add here the verify integrity and I set it to true, then we're going to get an exception. It's going to say indexes have over overlapping values um, 
So this does not work because we have two times the value for now. If I change this here, for example, to, uh, I don't know, 200 or something like that, which is definitely not part of the IDs. Um, now, what's the problem here? Do we have multiple overlapping IDs? Yeah, one was also a problem. So if I change this to 300 here. Uh, then we don't have the problem anymore. So then it works because we don't have any overlapping IDs. Now, in this case, obviously quite simple. You just take care a little bit. You just do some checks. But let's say now you don't have just six entries, but you have uh, existing data with trillions of um, or billions, of trillions of entries. And we want to add some new entries and we need unique identifiers for those entries. Now, I have written down some some notes here or some statistics. And what I saw, I think, from the Wikipedia page is that when you generate a UUID4 uh, and you generate 2.71 quintillion generations, so 2.71 quintillion, you can Google that number, um, UUIDs, that is the number that you would have to generate to have a 50% probability or chance of collision. And if you have um, 103 trillion UUIDs generated, uh, the chances of having a collision is one in a billion. So it's not zero, but it's very unlikely. So if you have to generate some arbitrary unique identifiers for some um, to merge with some existing data, this is definitely something that you can do. In this case, overkill, but still we will do it here. And instead of saying here ID is whatever we pass here, we're going to change this to a list comprehension. We're going to say now that this is UUID.UUID4 for placeholder in range. And in this case, I think six because we have six values here. And then you will see that those here are the unique identifiers. So you can see they have a certain pattern. You can also go to the Wikipedia page and see what the individual sections mean because there are some bits reserved for identifying this as a UUID for some bits uh, indicating something else and so on. But that is essentially the identifier. And you can use it like that, or you can use it also for different use cases. I think I even have a tutorial where I use the uh, UUID for naming images, because uh, I think this was some parallelization video that I did, where I had multiple threads downloading images, processing them. And while they process the image, they need to store it. And you cannot just name if, if you have like 100 processes or 100 computers working on the same hard drive. Uh, in the same directory and they download the image, you cannot just call them temp, temp.jpg or temp1.jpg. Um, so what I did is since we delete them afterwards anyways, but at the same time, maybe 200 images are created, um, we named them using a UUID. So we say generate a UUID.png and that is the name and then we delete it. So still you can have collision theoretically, but it won't happen practically. Uh, this is a very useful thing. And if you don't believe me, even though that's not much of a proof here, but we can also do something like test equals UUID, UUID four, and then we can say four underscore in range. And then we can specify a large number like this one here. And we can say, okay, if the UUID that we generate now, so we generate here with each iteration, a new one, if that uh, UUID that we generate here is the same as the one that we generated above, if that is the case, print same, and you won't see the same message at all. So you can run this, you can wait for it to finish, you can increase that, you can make this a while true number. Now, eventually, at some point, you will wait a very, very long time. But at some point, you might have a collision, but it just won't happen, practically speaking. So I can increase that number here, I can sit and wait, and I can watch and I can try to to, to get the same number, it won't happen, practically speaking, mathematically, it's possible, but it's very unlikely, it's close to zero, uh, that it will happen unless you go to some extremely large numbers, as I said, 2.71 quintillion generations would be needed to have a 50% chance of collision. Um, so yeah, that's essentially uh, how good that is for generating unique, unique identifiers. So whenever you need to just have meaningless identifiers that are unique, this is the way to go. This is how you do that in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and 